just because somebody has a title in the church does not mean they're God, does not mean they're your parents, does not mean they have authority over you. It's Divine D. Uh, yeah, that she remix. I don't know why they think she couldn't do it. I mean, everybody want to know where she be, where she at. I'm spending time with my father, the only one who got my back. Each day I pray they see the Holy Spirit that lives in me. They speak to God, I know that I've been set free. God forgive me of all my sins, no more sugar coated. Truth I sin, sliding into success. Not slave, but saying never panicky about pressure. Just a diamond that shines. A good name must be chosen rather than great riches. It's divine, D. That she and welcome, welcome back. Hey, chosen ones, and welcome back to another reaction video with me. Of course, today I will be reacting to this, I guess false pastor or whatever and i'll be sharing my thoughts and how i feel about it with you guys it looks like it may be a little bit crazy hopefully it's not too crazy if i can find more than one video i'll i may find more than one video then i'll add another one in there because this the first video or this video will be very short if i don't find another one but if you guys are new here you know what i'm gonna say don't forget Ooh. Don't for click what? Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you do like my content. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so it's not red no more. It'll be great if you're subscribing. Stay subscribed, okay? And don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you do like this video and hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I post another video. And it is December. December. I can feel it. That's not the song. Uh, we are going to go and get into this video. So, Lego. Okay, you guys. So, the video that we're going to be rea ooh, reacting to is called Crazy and Fake Faith Healers Part 1. So, I guess there's a part 2 in there somewhere. But, I would have to find part 2. Right now, we're going to react to this video. And, I'm going to share my thoughts. So, let's get into this video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Comment down. I love to read comments and i love to hear your comments and i will respond to everyone's comments so comment 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 you can leave more than one comment i will read them all okay wait, wait. wait pause okay for for false christs and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders so as to lead astray if possible even the elect matthew chapter 24 verse 24 what that verse or scripture basically says is that there's going to be people prophets pastors whatever that will spread messages that seem so believable and so real but they're not and it's to make you stray further away from God and the truth. So you have to be mindful and be careful of who you are listening to and who you are going to. That's the same way with prayer. You have to be careful of who you ask to pray for you and who you are going to for prayer and who's laying hands on you because you just never know who's real and who's not. Okay, let's get into it. Miracle Pastor turns petrol fuel into pineapple juice. So I'm turning it into a pineapple juice. I'm turning it into pineapple juice. <laughs> because the world is upon it. You know, good well, that's not pineapple juice. That looks like some apple juice or some pea. That that looks like somebody warm pea that you pee in when you go to get lab tests. Dude, that ain't no pineapple juice. Be, be for real. And first of all, what pineapple juice really gonna do? If y'all don't go take that somewhere else, please. <coughs> There's a lot of fumes. Uh huh. But. I don't have any uh, side effect. Oh. First of all, I want to drink pineapple juice. <laughs> okay. 
There's no purpose to this. There's no purpose to this whatsoever. And it's not nice. even really pineapple juice. You can clearly see it's not. And he's just it's giving finished. it to people. And these people are... People are so gullible to just go and do whatever and not really think about it and be like, is this for real? Is this something connected to the Bible? Is this biblical? Is this what God wants me to do? Will God be pleased right now? Is this what God wants? And if you, if that does not connect or resonate with you, something is not right because that just doesn't even make sense. And it's not, it's, there's no purpose to it. There's none. And to, yeah. Anyways, let's just keep going. I, I, I really, I know. And it just looked possessful. Like it, it looked more demonic than good. If, if that makes sense. It just looked, it reminded me of witchcraft. Like I just, it didn't make sense. Hello. Jesus. Yes, you know. No, no. Do that to me. No, 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 Boom, please, because I'm a, <clears throat> and I'll be, please, because, uh, <sighs> Jesus, I, I really don't, because he, I would get up so fast, he would be knocking to next week, not even, he'd be knocking to next week, you maybe, Jesus. I let you meet him. Jesus, you want to meet him? Because he's going to meet him that day. Jesus, he's still the healing business. There's one, two, three. Nobody gets the faithful out of their wheelchairs these days any faster than Benny Hinn. And when Pastor Benny comes to town, no civic center is big enough. He just healed her. Healed her of what, Pastor? Polio. This woman who said she had polio and would never walk again, she and her friends say she just climbed out of her wheelchair and walked? I don't get this one. It's unbelievable. If anybody gets this one, please TV, stick me, but, but I'll get it. Know, does he care if these healings are genuine? Anybody could make up anything. Someday somebody's going to do that. And what are you going to say then? I don't know. I can't tell you now. It <laughs> hasn't happened. Oh, yes, it has. I don't get this Remember one. that woman supposedly cured of polio? Pastor Benny knows it made for a great episode of his TV show. He knows it probably helped squeeze even bigger donations from his flock. But there's something he doesn't know. That woman works for us. Who? Woman doesn't have polio, never did. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Then why would she? He put her up there to see if he could tell her story was not true. To see if it would matter. To see if he would you see how you got a big, 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 big is it audience, fake, right? Or is it fraud? I'm still a human being like you. Made many mistakes, big ones, and will still make mistakes. Yeah, at least you're making mistakes, buddy. I really want. Be loved every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are formed from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. First John chapter four, verse one. That is a true thing. Like I said, you have to be mindful and you have to be cautious. Very cautious. As you can see, you can be easily just boom. So if you guys do not believe that there are real false prophets, false pastors and false prophets there are many out here i need to sneeze again i'm sorry guys <sighs> bless me uh there are many false prophets many false pastors many false people of god however it's just that way and i think it's that way because the christianity community is I guess you can say very big. I don't know if it's still very big as it used to be, but technically it still is if you look at it. And people often do these things to get famous or just to get clout and they just don't really have 
the they don't really have God in their life and they're just drawing attention from I guess games or jokes or whatever and then some do it because they think that they strayed far away from God or they feel like God has not acknowledged them so they need to do something in order to feel noticed and I guess that's why they also do it I'm not sure I don't know why people do it and seem that and feel the need to do it and I don't that's just like it's not really okay it's not not even really it's not okay to joke around about God or with God and to see that people really do that and put other people's lives in danger half of the time is absolutely ridiculous and to see that people don't really think and just are so gullible so gullible to just do whatever just because it's a pastor or a a preacher or apostle or whoever just because they have a title in the church does not mean they're god you guys have to start realizing that just because somebody has a title in the church does not mean they're god does does not mean they're your parents does not mean they have authority over you you have authority over you god has authority over you and your life which means no pastor no prophet no teacher no doctor nobody can do just any and anything to you okay they they can't just tell you what to do automatically and you're going to take heed you got to sort out the bits and pieces and say is this okay for me to do is this really worth it because you can't just be so gullible and just jump and do whatever it's like if somebody say jump off a bridge because they're a pastor don't you go and jump off a bridge we gotta do better we gotta do better you guys cannot believe everything that people say. If what I say all the time, if it's not biblical, I don't want to hear it. Show me where it say in the scripture. Show me where it say in the Bible. Because if it's not connected, I don't. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to have nothing to do with it. Because it's just. <sighs> I mean, literally, pastors and. I feel like I've seen it more than ever these days, especially with social media and stuff, where people would sit there and agree with pastors and prophets and all of this just because they're titles. And they'd be talking about pure nonsense or pure garbage or literally sit up there cussing in the church and they'll agree with them and say yes, 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 and amen and amen as if they're preaching an actual word and they're not you're being deceived and you cannot be deceived that's what the enemy wants and this is the trap that you're falling into it's literally a trap and it's a test you gotta know how to decipher the enemy from god it's just like that lady there was a post today i saw it on instagram or facebook i can't remember or what did i see i saw it on somewhere and it was like she did something because God told her to, and everybody was like, "No, nah, honey, that was not God. That was the devil." Okay, don't don't let that don't 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 let that trick you. There is many, 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 many ways you can just get tricked, deceived, and you gotta know how to be able to tell it apart. And that's why in the Bible it clearly says be set apart from the world don't be confirmed by this world or something like that but be transformed or something something by the renewing of your mind so you can tell apart good and bad and stuff like that it says something like that i can't remember where it's from right now because it is kind of late and i just finished studying and all that stuff so but i i can post a scripture on the screen but I, I like that scripture a lot because it clearly tells you, do not be confirmed by this world. Just because so-and-so and so-and-so agrees with whoever, and just because so-and-so and so-and-so want to do whatever, don't mean you got to do it too. Be your own person. 
Be who you are. Be who you truly are. Be set apart. Don't be like everybody else. Don't be like the world. But be like yourself. And I don't care if you're religious. If you're not religious. If you're Christian. If you're not a Christian. Because that goes for everybody. You got to be your own own person you got to be your own competition you got to be your own self you got to be your own person not everybody else you whoever god said you are you got to be you not nobody else not the world but you and that goes so far because what does it say you'll be able to tell apart what's good and what's bad Anyways, I'm done here for the day with reaction videos for now. I may hit y'all with a book collection or some sort in the future. Let me know what y'all want to see. I got y'all covered. And I also got a video. I got another video coming for y'all about a topic I'm going to talk about. And maybe, I don't want to give away no details or no secrets yet. Anyways, without further ado, it's Divine D that she is she is out get it right this ain't no game this ain't 2k so listen to what he says i gotta obey my god that's my lord that's my savior where would i be right now if it wasn't for his grace and mercy he protects me every day i walk these streets you gotta listen to what i say it's not sinking in where they need to get it the lord is calling all the people and he's calling on his people like moses